Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the week ahead for the Earth signs Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Last but not least, I've already done the other three elements. I call these readings for singles, <laughs> but it seems as though they're not just for singles, so I'm just going to leave that part out. It, you know, if it resonates, it resonates. So be it. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. Then we're going to use that deck right there. This for the next seven days. You know I focus on love, right? I do. I do, I do, I do. And thank you for bearing with me while I was in, vaca in or on vacation. As you can see, I was in Florida. I got a tan. Anyhow, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we got for the week ahead in love? many. What do we got for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? One card, please. Ace of Wands. This is an overall energy. Overall energy. That means they're not going to be reversed. These ones, if they come out reversed, yes. So this is a new desire, new passion, new vision. Now, I think the air signs got this too. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this is a, a new desire, right? A new passion, new spark. Could be a new partner. Could be. Could just be a new approach. It could be growth as well. You could be going through a period of growth. Either way, it's, well, ooh, the high priestess. Oh. Now that is... <laughs> I just want to get some more cards. It could mean so much. But it looks like maybe you're growing spiritually. Right? I mean, going within, growing, new vision. Maybe you're, you're deciding to go down a new path spiritually. Maybe you're trying to, or maybe you're beginning a new... You're at the beginning of a new spiritual gift. You know what I mean? You're at the very beginning. We have a new beginning here, and it's something that has to do with spiritual. Maybe your intuition is is increasing, or you're receiving a new download, or you're expanding. You're expanding your spiritual um, senses. Either way, you know something. There's the key. It's like you have the key. You know. You know something. Oh. Ooh. Boy. Yikes. There's some suspicion here. There's some jealousy. Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You maybe you're be upset about something. You could be a little upset, suspicious, hot headed. Oh my goodness. There could be some dishonesty here. Lack of truth, lack of communication, something is delayed. There could be some delayed communication and you're not happy about it. And maybe it's, maybe it's just not coming. But this is dropping something and this is too. You may be dropping something. Maybe you're being intuitively guided to let something go because she's letting this one go. and Somebody's letting something. They're going to let go. Somebody's letting go. Somebody's going to let go. Hmm. This card has come up for so many people in the same, you know, reversed. Delays. There's a delay. There is absolutely. It's going to go here, but this this is a there's a delay. Hmm. Ooh. Delay. In walking away from something. Hmm. 
Whew, heavy weight, dropping weight. This is dropping, this is weight. Some of you may be working on dropping weight. Dropping weight, maybe you're working on that. Interesting. Ooh, this is blocking as well. So somebody is blocking, this is blocking this. Somebody is blocking something. Somebody is needing to go within and refocus, okay? Somebody needs to go within and refocus. Um, somebody is thinking about going back because they're lonely. They're thinking about going back to something that was overwhelming, something that was heavy, something that was burdensome. Somebody is, this is, somebody is thinking about going back, and you're being tested. You may be tested this week. You know, you want to go back? You want to take two steps back? Is that what's going on here? It's like somebody is thinking about going back or they're, they're needing to really think hard, long and hard about this. You really, really need to think hard because it looks like there's some... Somebody's being dishonest with themselves about something. They are. They are. They're not. They're in denial, okay? Somebody is in denial about something, and you may be tested. You may be tested with an opportunity to... Let somebody in. You may be tested with somebody to let somebody in, and... You're reluctant. You're reluctant. I think there's going to be reluctance this week. I think that somebody has been in denial about something that needs to be dropped. Thinking that they can carry it, thinking that, you know, they can they can they can hold on to this forever. But it looks like it's too much. It's too much to hold on to. I feel like it's time for you to take a new approach. It is. It is definitely time for you to take a new approach. Go down that new path. Stop sitting on that fence. There's indecisiveness here. Your intuition is telling you something. And are you listening? Are you really listening to it? Because somebody's thinking about going back. It's a test. Is a test. Somebody's practicality is being tested. Is it practical? Is it is it the right thing? Is it stab stability? Is it there's like insecurities here. Somebody is feeling so insecure with themselves and they don't want to be alone that they're thinking about either staying in a situation that is unhealthy and heavy or going back to an unhealthy, heavy situation. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's dishonesty here. There's, there's, there's a lack of, of truthful communication. Somebody may think that they know. They may think that they know when they really don't know because this is seen clearly and this is not seen clearly. So there's like a contradiction here. They may think that, you know, I don't want to be alone. I just don't want to be alone, you know. So you don't want to be alone. You want to stay with the wrong one. Is that what this is? Or you want to go back to the wrong one? Just There's loneliness here. This is loneliness. You may be going through some sort of midlife crisis where you just want to hear from somebody, right? I want to hear, I want some communication. I don't care who it's from, I just want some communication, you know? But the fact of the matter is, is that whatever this is, it's, it's too much. It's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. There's an overwhelming feeling, oh, wrong deck. There's an overwhelming feeling of, of loneliness, despair, you know? I don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to be alone anymore. 
and maybe you're dealing with somebody who communicates with you and it's not real it's 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 a lie so be careful you could have somebody that that comes in and communicates and it's dishonest it's not truthful communication and you know it's not commute you know it's not truthful you know this person doesn't have anything solid and stable to offer you but you don't want to be alone somebody is in a situation or they're thinking about staying in a situation that is heavy it's burdensome it's it's uh not going to lead them to success put it that way because it's 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 just going to turn their their lives upside down it is there's fear there's fear there is fear there's there's fear of not having anybody You're going to have somebody. That's a, that's a new beginning. That is a new beginning. It's going to happen. Ooh. But you got to master your emotions, okay? You got to master your emotions. You need to move forward. You need to find that willpower. You need to replace that fear with faith. You need to head in the right direction. You need to be the king. You need to travel forward. You need to put your you need to take the reins. You need to put yourself in the driver's seat. You need to take the lead. You know, you're the boss. Nobody else. You got to manifest it. You got to take action. You got to shed the old. You got to use all the resources within you to move forward. You have to take action. I feel like somebody is going to <coughs> come into your life pretty quickly I feel like somebody is going to come in pretty quickly Okay, they're going to come flying in with some passionate offer maybe maybe they just want to have sex with you just be careful it could be just sexual I'm just, I'm just being honest with you here somebody's going to come in because they're lonely And I have had no problems until now with my chest. None. This is my last one. And now I'm seized right up. Difficult communication. <coughs> wow. Wow. I can't even be, get over I can't get over it. It's like I can't even speak. I think somebody is going to come in and communicate with you that maybe they <laughs> they want a new beginning. They want somebody wants something with you. They want something. They want and it's definitely sex for one thing. They definitely want to have sex with you. And they definitely definitely. But will they stick around? It's dishonest. It's dishonest. It's dishonest. It is, okay? It is. It's not truthful. This person that is going to come flying in and communicate and or whatever they're going to do. It doesn't lead to anything long term. It doesn't lead to anything long term. It's going to end up a loss. It is. It is. So I feel like you're dealing, you may have a Aries Leo Sagittarius, a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Um, you could have another Virgo. You could have Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, Cancer. Pisces. Um, whoever this person is, somebody is coming in with some sort of, um, one night stand kind of energy. 
Okay, it looks like that's what it is. I feel like you may feel like neither one of you want to be alone. That's the thing. This person doesn't want to be alone and you don't want to be alone. You know, and maybe maybe that's what maybe that's fine. Maybe you're good with a one night stand. There's not it's not going to lead to anything more than one time whatever this is. It's going to be one time one time deal. So you may you may receive some sort of um, communication with somebody that you know, somebody that's a, quite a trickster, somebody that is very alluring. I mean, whoever this person is, this person you know, knows exactly what to say, knows what to do, has done it before. They, they've, they've mastered their ability to, to uh, take control of a situation. And I think that somebody is going to come in to sweep you off your feet and uh, leave you high and dry. <laughs> that's what I see so I mean I don't know where this is coming from or who this is for but I think that there is a an offer that is coming in that is purely based on sex I'm just saying I'm just saying I'm I don't know where that came from um and you guys can can say that you know that's my energy I'm not talking to anybody nobody so um this has nothing to do with me so I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody is going to receive some sort of opportunity to get together with somebody. And it's a complete lie. It is a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's not going to lead to anywhere. And you may be in denial. Somebody may be in denial over this, may not want to see the truth just because they don't want to be alone. I feel like loneliness is a big, big, big deal here. And so somebody may feel like, I manifested this. This is a person, I know that I manifested this. But that's, it's not true. It's not true. Okay? So just, just beware. Just beware. I think that you got somebody that is very cunning very very cunning that is <sighs> gonna woo you they're gonna do their best to woo you and they're coming fast they're gonna come out of the blue they're coming fast and um it's not gonna it's not gonna lead to anywhere it's not gonna lead to anywhere just saying i don't know who that part is for it's an opportunity that's not practical it's not wise. It's not real. It's not real. Upright, it's a re it's not a real opportunity, okay? It's not. So, I feel like you guys are going to be uh wooed by somebody that is quite cunning. And I think that you know. I think that you do know. I think your intuition is going to give you the answer right off, right off. Okay, you know that you know the answer. You are going to know the answer. But your loneliness may get in the way, you know. It may. And it will leave you feeling like faith. I don't know why I grabbed this deck. It will leave you feeling like you need to go within and you need to you need to really start thinking more clearly. It will leave and in the end you're gonna wish that you followed your intuition, put it that way. This is the hair font. This is you. The hair font follows their intuition, they follow their inner guide. You are gonna if you go down, you're gonna wish that you listened to yourself. You're going to wish that you believed in yourself. 
This is a week of following your inner guide. Listen, listen. Now that's the first card, and this is the second card. I mean the last card. These are both the first card, and this is the last. This is both about intuition and inner guide. You are going to be presented with a very passionate opportunity. One that is so attractive that it's going to be hard to say no. But the fact of the matter is, it's not honest. It's not truthful. It's not going to stick around. It's going to, you're going to regret it, okay? It's going to cause you to feel overwhelmed because this isn't, it's going to go, it's going to, it's going to go up and then it's going to go, it's going to go up and then it's going to go down. Okay, it is, it is, and you're going to wish that you followed your inner guide. So I really feel like this is a time where, you know, you're going to have to really master your emotions <laughs> big time. You're going to have to master your emotions and you're going to have to be practical. You're going to have to be practical. Do you want to get involved with somebody that has no staying power? Do you? Do you? Because you're going to be presented with an opportunity that looks very attractive. You may, you, and it's going to happen suddenly. It is definitely going to happen suddenly. It's going to be out of the blue. It's going to be out of the blue. And you're going to know right off, your first gut instinct is going to say that This isn't good, but are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? I mean, oh, you may not. You may stop it right in its tracks. That would be the best bet. Now, this is blocked and this is blocked. So maybe you want to block this person. I don't know. Maybe you've blocked this person in the past. I don't know. You may, and this is the rods of love reverse, so maybe you're just going to block it because you're going to see that that's, this is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. So you may you may stop it right in its tracks. I hope that you do. I really hope that you do because whoever this person is, you need to you need to protect yourself. Okay. You need to protect yourself from this person because this person doesn't have anything good to offer you. So I don't know who this reading is for, but you're going to be sent pre be offered an opportunity that isn't real. And you may, you may, you, you know, thing is with intuition, a lot of times we ignore it. It's that's what's going on here. This is ignoring. This is ignoring, okay? It is. So somebody, you're going to have that opportunity to pass this test or not. What's it going to be? Do you want to follow your intuition and, and, you know, do the right thing? Or do you want to ignore your intuition and be overwhelmed with the loss, okay? Because you're not, you're going to, there's going to be some regret here, so... Don't let your loneliness drive you into the arms of somebody who, there's no love in these cards, not one. Not one card. So, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, don't let loneliness get in the way of your self-worth and your integrity. Be patient. There's no rush. There's no rush to fall in love. I don't think I want to use those. So anyway, that's what I have. I mean, I don't, I, I feel like you guys need to continue to manifest and call in your soulmate. Rushing and hurrying and being impulsive isn't going to lead you anywhere. It's not. It's not.
listen to your inner guide during this time. It's going to give you the answer. When this opportunity presents itself, the first gut intuition, you know, that first impression, that first thought, that's your answer. Just don't let your loneliness override your gut. Good luck.